we had some fun with this, as well as you know, encouraging um, high school students to work out some of the numbers. We also kind of simulated our own LEM descent, um, putting that grant we got from the Research Council to good use. And um, again, talking about how, say, flour would replicate some of the properties of the dust quite well, at least if it was really dry, and then blowing compressed air through it, you know, to kind of simulate the effect of the engine. But as you'll see, that's not enough to disturb very much of the flour, just the flour immediately below the engine. And then along comes an astronaut, quite happily able to leave footprints um, because all of that other dust has not been blown away. Now, of course, this is just an analogy, and it's a, a good way to help people get their head around that science is often built on analogies where sometimes the analogies don't work and you've got to keep thinking of ways to stress test whether the analogy is appropriate. You know, in the airless environment of the moon, would the dust really behave like flour? You know, um, so, so th this, this was a great example of open-ended learning through the context of this project. And then the, the final point um, to, to, to tie some of this together, I mentioned before that with the atmosphere you would get the dust forming a kind of billowing cloud because the dust particles will collide with air molecules. Well, well, let's see that happen, not through a rocket launch, but through a rally car on a dusty road. Contrast that with what you see with the lunar rover. Admittedly not going quite so fast, but watch what happens to the dust there. Instead of it forming a billowing cloud, what you've got is some dust thrown up by the wheels, and um, sometimes I can freeze frame it. Just, just a moment ago there, you maybe caught a glimpse of this, a sort of the dust going in an arc. We call that curve a parabola. It's a particular shape that a, you know, a heavy object would follow when you throw it here on Earth. Let me see if I can do it safely without hitting Fiona with my pound coin. If I throw this over here, it goes up and follows that curved arc. And the curvature of the parabola is directly linked to the strength of the Earth's gravity. So that curve is not only telling you they're on an airless environment like the moon. If you measure the curvature, it checks out that it's only got one sixth of the gravity of the Earth. 